Okay, in this lesson, I want us to look at the difference between lateral surface area and total surface area. And so we learned the other day that total surface area is the area of all the faces, it's the area of all the faces of a figure including including the bases okay so um, I'm gonna flip my screen right here maybe I'm gonna try oh no that doesn't work let's see can I flip it oh there we go okay so here we have a Kleenex box right and so if I'm talking about total surface area I'm talking about all this all the faces, all the sides of this box, okay? And like if they, when they made this um, cardboard container, they probably did something to find the surface area of all the faces to make the box, okay? Now, lateral surface area, and let me see if I can um, kind of give you a different example. So here is my little sanitizer bottle. So if we're talking about lateral surface area, Lateral surface area is only the middle part, okay? It's only the middle part. And I know this isn't a perfect cylinder, but it, it wouldn't include the top and the bottom. It's only the middle part, okay? So let's write that down. Flip that. Okay, so lateral surface area is the area of just the faces or sides, okay? It does not include the bases, okay? And so what I want to do is I want to um, list some examples of um, what um, what you might see and you're going to practice today identifying if it's talking about lateral or total surface area. So for lateral surface area, one thing we would talk about is we would say the label on a can, kind of like my sanitizer bottle. It's just the label around the center. It does not include the top and the bottom. Another example is if you look around your room that you're sitting in. If you were going to paint your room, you most, I mean, you might paint your ceiling, but um, most likely you'd paint your ceiling a different color, right? So if you were painting just the walls of your room, your wall is, I mean, your room is probably a rectangular prism. And so if we were painting the walls, that would be an example of lateral surface area. Um, if we're talking about, um, if we're talking about building a, maybe building a fence or um, a frame around a garden, that might be talking about lateral surface area. Um, I'm trying to think of another example. Uh, maybe, maybe we talk about the roof. Okay, if we're putting a roof on a house, a roof is kind of like a triangular prism. And so, you know, most, most of the time you don't um, put a roof, on, a roof on the front or back of your prism. You don't do the triangles. So those would be um, just a few examples of lateral surface area. If we're just talking about the sides of something. Oh, another example I know would be the ribbon on a gift. Like if you're wrapping a present, uh, maybe you're just putting a ribbon around it and maybe the ribbon doesn't cover all the sides, but still that would be an example of lateral surface area. Now total surface area is, is really um, important. Um, number one, it, it might say that it covers all the sides. It includes the top and bottom. Okay, anytime you're making packaging, like I showed you on the Kleenex box, if you're making a box or um, 
making a water bottle, the packaging. Um, if we're wrapping a present, I think that's the biggest example that we see is if we're wrapping a present. Okay, that's, you're, I mean, hopefully you're going to cover the whole entire box, right? And so you need to know the total surface area. Okay, um, you know, again, sometimes it's going to use the word total. Um, the material to make a can or something like that. Those are going to be examples of what you might see for total surface area. So what you're going to do now is you're going to practice and identify whether the example is lateral surf, talking about lateral surface area or if it's talking about total surface area.